There are a few happy smiling faces in Dublin, not least at this US-owned video games maker. No recession here. Plants vs Zombies seems to be providing millions of gamers with some light relief. The uh, technology sector in Ireland in particular is helping drive growth for the Irish economy. We're seeing our, ourselves here as an example. Six months ago, we were 50 people in, this, in our European headquarters in Dublin. Now we're close to 85 people. By the end of the year, we'll be 100 people. And this is uh, typical of most technology companies that I speak to in the Irish marketplace. Ireland's economy surprised everyone and experienced the second highest growth in the European Union for part of this year as a result of the performance of technology multinationals, so many of which are based in Dublin. Tax incentives created tax revenues as Ireland turned the corner. Ireland's economy, of course, was the Celtic tiger, which over time turned into one of the pigs. Yet if Ireland's now to become a phoenix and escape the same fate as Greece and possibly Portugal, it will be because of all this foreign investment bringing in tax revenues, bringing Ireland back from the brink. Yet there are still deafening echoes of the property crunch which got Ireland into such trouble. We found hundreds of people in the process of losing their homes. If it catches fire, the whole lot goes down. The developer who built all these flats didn't bother putting fire retardant in the walls, which is illegal. Once the fire brigade found out, Every person living here was ordered to move out at a moment's notice. The developers now bankrupt and they're all homeless. It's worth nothing. I wouldn't give more than 1,000 quid for this place. And I 925 euros a month. Yeah, and I gave it, I wouldn't mind, I paid it two days before I got this letter. Oh my God. So they owe me 90 and 50 and I can't get through to them. I need a month's deposit and a month's rent to get somewhere else where I can't get through to them. They don't answer the phone. So for the time being, many people remain furious. The central bank current home to the IMF under siege from protesters who say that neither the banks, developers or anyone else, inept or corrupt, have yet faced justice. We, the citizenry, are being asked to shoulder the burden of all their debt. And as a result, we're now probably going to have to shut down part of our health system, our education system, sell off our natural resources, when we would have stood to gain absolutely nothing uh, if these private investments had succeeded. So Ireland is a hospital patient who's been poisoned and is critically ill, but whose condition has stabilised a bit. But there will be more bitter medicine for people to stomach, and the doctors can't make their minds up how quickly the patient will get better. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Dublin.